Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to explain how to create a photo move using two photos that were taken consecutively or on a burst setting inside Boris Red and Avid Media Composer. This effect is a fantastic way to spice up your edit that's full of simple moves and pictures, almost creating a video-like effect if done properly. So, when going through your photos, look for any that were taken back to back or using a burst setting and have similar framing. For me, I'm going to use these pictures of our editor Sean, but there are endless possibilities for what you can use. Place both photos onto your timeline for the amount of time that you want the effect to last, having the one you want first on your bottom layer, then the next on your top layer for reference. Next, place the Boris Red filter onto your top photo and open up Boris Red. Quickly referring back to a previous tutorial, my Avid imported stills are at the resolution of my current project, this one being 1920x1080. However, Boris Red can import these at full resolution. So clicking Change Track Media, I'll go ahead and import my two photos into here, still wanting the photo I want first to be on my bottom layer. Much better. Now take the first keyframe of your top layer picture and move it over to where you want it to start to appear. I'll then add a quick dissolve by going 15 frames over, creating another keyframe, and changing the opacity from 0% to 100%. Going right in the middle of this dissolve, I can see that these photos are close to the same framing, but not quite there. So I'll tweak my second photo until they look closer to the exact framing. You may not be able to get it to match 100%, but this should work perfectly. Next, create a 3D container and place both of the picture layers into the container. Finally, going to my first keyframe of my 3D container, I'll set my scale and rotation to a decelerate interpolation, then copy and paste that to my last keyframe, and scale and rotate it up a bit to create a simple move. Previewing this back, you can see that the second photo of Sean smoothly dissolves in, creating a much more interesting look. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment below. And if this tutorial helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button, then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.